we have a bit of a problem. <laughs> um, we're out of supplies and also fuel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Sector and welcome to our cockatoos <laughs> continental world that we have, uh, well, colonized last time. Uh, there's people already over here, which is nice. We built the spaceport, which is great. And now we're building the farming, which is going to take... Uh, next two months and then we're working on the way station it's also gonna take the next two months we could start working on orbital station oh there's actually diable avionics special station i wasn't aware that i can do that Ooh, this could be kind of cool it get it has the substantial fighter defenses but i guess the best thing would be uh if we had vanzer blueprints for it i guess i don't know Otherwise, we have the high-tech, we have the low-tech, or we have the midline. Actually, let's try the Diablo Avionix. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. I don't know if we have good weapons for it or not. So let's give it a try. We're gonna, we're gonna queue this bad boy up as well. Now, if you remember, last time we saw this, the main era probe over here, and I wanted to go explore it. We do have some stuff we need to slay, so let's go do that. I think it's gonna be fine if I just do it alone. And it's beautiful that we can actually see cockatoos in the back. Oh, cockatoos, my cockatoos. Let's slay in the name of cockatoos. I, I would love to do that. <laughs> Everything shall be slain in the name of cockatoos. Because we can actually see it in the background. Ain't that nice, boys? You'll love to see it. Let's finish these things. And who knows, maybe we're gonna get some uh, AI cores out of this. Or maybe not. Who knows? Uh, there's a uh, maybe some signals. Nope. Nope. Nothing special. How about if we recover some stuff? No, nothing special. Okay. Now, of course, there's gonna be definitely pirates coming in soon and trying to do bad things to us. So we're gonna have to. Of course, we're gonna have to be careful about that. We have to stick around, stay around. Uh, so I was thinking maybe going into this other nebula over here and exploring some of these like orange stars and such while we wait for stuff to finish over here then we're gonna come back and do more stuff over here and maybe have to defend this place as well so let's go let's take a look at what we have there's an ice giant over here we cold and high gravity floating continent oh that's actually really cool Ben volatiles extensive ruins as well this would have been a great place to be. I mean, this is decently close to where we are. Let's uh, explore these ruins. We got a corrupted Nana Forge. Imagine if it was an actual proper Nana Forge, but you know what? We'll take it. We will definitely take that. There's a rocky ice world. This one doesn't have ruins or anything like that. And there's the volcanic worlds out there that we can go check out. You know what, might as well survey this one since we are already here. Uh, 200, it's got low gravity, cold and all that stuff. Sparse, rare ore, moderate ore. This one's got toxic atmosphere, extreme heat, extreme tectonic activity. No ruins, of course. So I think we're gonna not even take a look at these. Same over here. This one's probably not, probably not very good. Yeah, 250. Toxic, extreme tectonic, extreme heat. Uh, we'll leave this system for now and... Uh, we're gonna go continue exploring. Baron and Baron Bombarded. Well, the Baron Bombarded could have some stuff for us. This Baron is just too close to anything, so I'm just gonna let it be. It doesn't have ruins, which is a shame. Uh, we'll still survey. It's 200. No, that's atmosphere, extreme heat, moderate ore, and moderate rare ore. So, yeah, nothing special over here. Let's get out of this, and looks like... The, the poor Reavers are not doing too well with that uh, last tri tech place that I captured for them. Oh, look at that! Bodie McBoatface repaired erratic fuel injector. Oh. Bodie. My, my Bodie. Where's my Bodie? That's good. Only 3D mods left. Fair enough. We have a uh, domain era survey probe with some defense we're gonna kill. This is actually a very freaking cool background. I love that. Like it it's it's different. It's very nice. And we get to slay stuff uh, in the meantime. You are the next one on the line. 
Yeah, EMP in your face so you can't shoot me. Uh, I'm gonna... I have to take that shot. Sorry. You were the one that threw a torpedo in my side, weren't you? How about I just utterly and totally destroy you now, huh? There you go. Easy money. Oh, look at that. Gamma core. We'll take it. Thank you. Uh, we got a story point for that, which is even better. And some more supplies. Anything else for us? More supplies, which is fine, because we're going to need them to uh, deal with this stuff. So, uh, Acid World might be interesting. Let's go check that one out. Who wouldn't want to live on an Acid World? Only actually 150. It's really not bad. Diffuse Volatiles and Sparse Ore. So, not a very good place, for sure. Not a very good place. Let's check if this one down here maybe has any ruins on it, which I kind of doubt. It's got no atmosphere. 150 as well. Not bad. Abundant ore, but nothing special. And then there's the volcanic one. Let's take a look at it. 250. It's always great. Ultra rich ore and ultra rich rare ore. You know, that's how it usually is in volcanic worlds, but are they worth the 250? Uh, Hazard rating? Uh, probably not. Maybe. Definitely not as your first planet, though. Oh, look at that. There's a nebula just floating out here. There's a Lieutenant Mercury Oberon. Yeah, okay. Let's let's see what kind of uh I mean it's a civilian transport which could be very useful if we took it for um, colonization, but or, you know, if we need marines or something like that. But I don't think we want to take it for an extra story point. It's really not worth it because it's, you know, lowers the maximum crew and all that stuff. It's, yeah. No, it's it's destroyed to the point that we don't want it. Let's go check this uh, Gamma Per Se Brown Dwarf. And let's see what it's got out here. There's a cryovolcanic. There's a desert world. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Let's see what we've got. It's 125. It's hot in extreme weather, which is not the best, but it's fine. Sparse or... Yeah, okay. Definitely not the best. How about this Baron? 200 extreme heat. Apparently, it's pretty hot out here in these places. But, ah, eh, we're fine. How about the cryovolcanic? Those are always interesting to check. Tectonic activity, extreme cold. Diffuse volatiles and moderate ore. So, also nothing special uh let's take a look maybe at this this cryovolcanic out here as well this one is 225 it's got high gravity as well plenty of volatiles though abundant ore rich rare ore so this one is kind of cool you get some money for the you know checking it out but that's that's about it all right let's get out of the system we're going to elgard system that has a yellow start and the orange star oh well, star to star baron and volcanic world is the only things that are here well, this volcanic already doesn't seem too promising. Uh, but let's survey it. You know, since we're here, ultra-rich ore and abundant rare ore. How about the other place? I know it just... Oh, look at that. Rebellions in prototype failed. Government victory. Love to see it. This one has a lot, a lot of ruins. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. No atmosphere, which is a shame. Moderate ore and extensive ruins. Oh, yes. Let's explore that. Give me something good. Another corrupted Nana Forge. An expanded deck crew. I guess we can take that. 120 heavy machinery. Well, two corrupted Nana Forges. I would, I would really uh, prefer the not corrupted one, but I guess we're going to have to do more exploration for that. Uh, the last one in this uh, area over here in this nebula, we have this... This combination of red giant plus a brown dwarf. I don't know how much stuff there's gonna be. There's just one barren world, which is over yonder. I'll go check that one, see if there's anything. Anything? Not at all. Looks like there's more invasions happening constantly. People love to fight. No ruins in this one, but since we're here, might as well serve it, right? Got low gravity, 200%. Yeah, not very good. Moderate ore. All right. Well, let us run back towards home, because I believe the farming should be done anytime now. There you go. Farming on Cacatus is completed, and now the Vase Station, Vase Station, 
is under construction next. Ripclaw just repaired structural damage. Well, you'll love to see that, Ripclaw. Good job. And there we get all the intel now. Uh, let's jump out here. And let's see how Cockatus is, is doing these days. Hello, Cockatus. Oh, yes. You, you look decent. You look decent. Uh, let's take a look at our... What am I doing? Please, manage colony. That's what I was trying to do. We have some extra food now, which is good. We're producing food. Very nice. We'll be able to export some of that. I hope so. And make some extra credits. How soon are we going to grow, though? Uh, not anytime soon. But anyway, we have farming. We could assign an AI core. This just reduces demand. This is upkeep and reduces demand. Do we want to put our AI course into this quite yet? I don't think we really need to. Because it doesn't really have that much demand. And upkeep is easy. We could make improvements to it. So with two story points, we can increase production by one unit. I don't think we need to do that quite yet. It's quite fun or fine right now when it comes to this. Uh, we're going to... Take a look through that later on. But for now, you know, we have aid stability, which is nice. Access isn't the best due to the hostilities and all that stuff. But we're going to build a way station. We're going to build other things. And uh, eventually it's going to grow into a beautiful and amazing colony. We have a bit of a problem. <laughs> um, we're out of supplies and also fuel. This stress call, please. Uh... I uh, kind of, kind of forgot about that. No, no supplies, no fuel. Of course, we can't buy it over here at Cockatus quite yet, due to the fact that, well, they're not producing it, and we have no extra in storage. We have food though. Hmm. Hello. Anyway, oh, there we go. Who's coming? Hello, friends. I could use. Supplies and all that stuff. Oh, well, now they're running. Oh, so you were uh, a pirate, huh? Oh, fuck off. Get back here. No, 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 no. Get back here. I need your... I need your supplies and I need your fuel. We have no fuel to be able to charge them. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's... Let's fight. <laughs> we need... We need stuff from you. So we can actually get out of this. Uh, I explore for too long. And I forgot that we need stuff. I'm I'm not going to deploy too many people. Because I don't want to spend too many supplies for repairs. We need to slay them all. So we can actually get their fuel and supplies. That's basically what it is. Alright, that one's dead. Now... This is going to become problematic. Uh, we're good, we're good, friends. Somebody help. Let me kill you. There you go, we're fine. I'm not even worried about what you're doing, Wolfie boy. Not even worried. Alright, you're gonna, you're gonna run. Alright, back in business, Wolfie boy. Let's actually do this, this way. Ah, he had jumps. He had jumps. Chasing a goddamn wolf that can jump. It's uh, never a good idea. Come on, we got this. We totally got this. Let it, let it overload. Let it overload. I believe, ah, he's jumping, fuck off. Why would I be stupid enough to chase a wolf, you would ask, I don't know. But finally, we got it. Ray Piercer and Sneed are doing just decently up here, destroying these things. So keep destroying these things, boys. Don't worry about it. Daddy's coming to help. All right, let's let's brawl, buddy. Let's brawl. Yep, gray piercers there, and now the shepherds are gonna overload soon. Boom, the shepherds done as well. I hope you guys drop a lot of supplies, and I think we killed them all. Yeah, I think we killed them all. All right, good job, boys. Oh no, we haven't. Oh, there's more. That one. There is actually a couple more down here. These were all chasing Boaty, but Boaty uh, already escaped. They were all after Boaty, and looks like Boaty <laughs> definitely damaged them quite well so far. So that's lovely. And now, of course, they will have issues. Uh, 
as they try to deal with our a bit bigger ships. Mm, yeah, you m might have been able to chase down Bodhi, but Void of the Red shall eat you. Ah! Stop! We did it. Claim victory. Okay, we got some supplies, we got some fuel. It's pretty amazing. Definitely not good enough. <laughs> Uh, definitely not good enough. Uh, suspend all repairs. It's fine. It's fine. No worries. No worries. Uh, let's recover some more. Oh, yes, yes. Good for you. No, I don't want your ship. I just want its fuel. Can't recover anymore. All right, we have 116 fuel, which is not gonna get us anywhere. Motherfucker! Uh, let's stay here. Do another distress call. Nobody's gonna come because we still have fuel, so they're gonna be like, yeah, you guys have fuel, you're fine. Sure. We're gonna be out of fuel in about a second. And we go back down here. <laughs> no, come on! Fuck off! I hate this! Well, at this point, really, the only thing we can do is just wait at Cocytus, right? Hope somebody comes around to give us some fuel. We're gonna run out of supplies very soon, but uh, Cocytus is gonna build a way station in the next 20 days. At that point, we'll, we'll be able to get some fuel and supplies over here. You know, so all we need is survive long enough with the supplies that we don't have. Cocytus builds that. What can we do with a monthly income if we can't even supply ourselves? Out of supplies. Mm. Oh, great. Saturation bombardment. Cockatus. Tritech is coming. Yay. Nice. Oh, now I'm gonna have supplies to repair my ships because I'm stupid. All right. Uh, very weak one fleet. Well, you know what? If they're doing bombardment, they should have lots of fuel, so. That's good for us, right? We can kill them. Problem is, my ships are all gonna be fucked. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pretty much store all of my ships. Hopefully, if they're in the storage, they're gonna be fine. Right? Oh, right. I also have way too much other stuff. No, 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 go back here. Excuse me. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm caring so much. I can't get there. Please! My, my ship, it just doesn't operate. Fine. Fine, look. We're dropping everything. Into space. How about that? We're dropping everything. In okay, you know what? Drop everything. Give me enough that I can actually fly. Thank you. I can fly back. Ah, this is bullshit. Take this ship out. Go back for this. And give me all of this back. That should give me enough. No, we're so much over that we can't. Fine, but at least we can bring the people back. Drop all of that. Who cares about this? <sighs> all right, now we can put all of that into freaking storage. All right. It is just me, floating around here. That's all there is. No supplies. <laughs> no nothing. We can take 40 metals at a time and bring them back to Cockatus. My ship is still doing fine. No, no worries there. And, well, Cockatus is ready to go in 10 days. So this is nice. We're just gonna wait out here. And, of course, the important saturation bombardment. It's coming, um, they're gonna start assembling in five days, so they still have ways to go. Yes, let's go boys, way station completed! And now we're building the, uh, cockatus the station. There is somebody flying out there. Alright, we did it. Boys, we have 37 supplies and 50 fuel. Whew! Let's actually go. I can, I can slowly start resuming all repairs actually i don't have enough supplies to repair this thing uh 
Not even this ship. But slowly we got this, boys. Slowly. Probably not. Ah, repairs completed. No, it's not repairs completed. What are you talking about? Yes, they're bringing more supplies and more fuel. Which means... I can actually repair this ship. Awesome. And then I can start... Taking out more ships out of the... The storage. Let's bring out the Vendigo next. Let's take the friendship next. We're gonna... We still have enough people. Good. Let's get friendship repaired as well. We're gonna have to assign the captains as well. I forgot who had which ship, so... It's gonna be a bit, a bit obnoxious, but we got this, boys. There's a big fleet flying around over there. Oh, look! Don't fly, run away from my fleet. We're friends. It's our traitors. Oh, nice, boys. Oh, boy. Um, There's a lot of ships right there. Apparently pursuing us. Hmm. There's a privateer coming. Why is there so many ships pursuing us? A very good question. <laughs> very good question. We do have four ships in now. So we got that going for us, which is nice. We could... Um, Maybe take another one out of the storage. Maybe somebody like Boti. Boti is kind of wrecked. So maybe we'll take Bloodstar out. All right, we got Ripclaw. We got Bloodstar out. We got the Void of the Red, Friendship, Lapsus Lazuli. I think, I mean, Blood Avenger isn't damaged at all. No, don't do this to me. I, I know we have crew under strength. Come, come down. Uh, maybe you can take Blood Avenger uh, out so we can defend against whatever that thing is that is coming towards us right now. We're gonna need like a thousand people for that, probably. Yeah, still crew under strength, really? Uh, well, we'll take some more crew then. Blood Avenger does take a lot of crew. That's how it is. Okay, uh, I am the one flying it. And Lapsus Lazuli can be flown for now by, I don't know, Jim the Occult. Sure, we can do that. Okay, okay. Can, uh, can repair our fleet? We have 18 supplies. Now, if you want to burn for me. Yeah, pirates. You're going to bring me all the supplies that I need. It's not going to be an easy fight. But I think we can, we got this. We have 70 supplies. Uh... 17 supplies. We might be able to grab one smaller ship as well. I don't know if you can repair both. We can take a Mound Stalker out. Actually. Yes. And I don't think Mound Stalker had a captain before. But we can, we can do all Sneed over here. And you can fly that. It's 18 supplies. So we can't fully repair it. Let's fight then. Uh, apparently the traders are fighting, so we got we got traders on our side as well. Let's destroy you, you bastards. They be coming. Come on, pirates. Let's let's get some killing done, shall we? Well, looks like most of their fleet is on that left side. Ah, it's just fine. Now let's actively try not to do anything stupid. And get our ships skilled, because it's you know it's gonna it's gonna cost us to get them back, cost us the amount that we can't really afford right now. But otherwise, let's go kill some space crafts, shall we? Hey, don't be there, <laughs> yo, dude! I'm trying to kill stuff over here. All right. Oh yeah, that uh, Jerry can is gonna go boom. I hope it's gonna have lots of fuel for me. All right, let's have some fun. Oh, that thing's gonna melt. How about we get some hammers in there as well? Oh, you are gonna go boom, Diara. Very nice. The biggest, the bigger ships that we kill, hopefully the more supplies that we get. At least that's my, that's my hope. If it's gonna be true, I don't know. But keep going for it, boys. Fry them. Ooh, that looks, that looks dope. That thing look very good. Good job, friendship. This is friendship, right? Yes, yes, this is our friendship. 
I think they are already trying to run. Mmm. Uh, assault, boys. Assault. Kill them all if you can. Before they run, we want to kill them all. Unfortunately, I am flying a very slow ship, so I can't. But at least I can... No, that thing is going to escape. We can maybe pursue them. That would be good. One of our friendly boys, uh, Red Dwarf, got destroyed. That's one of the traitors, I guess. Yes, friendship. Chase them down. Let's see if we can get this catapult in. Oh, that catapult is going to get wrecked. Come on. Go get it, boys. It's trying to get a kill over there. Do not worry about that. Don't... You know, this is a good bait. This is, in fact, a great bait. Come on, friendship. Just push. Push, buddy. Let's go. We got him. I'm gonna join the pursuit on the guys that have escaped. Uh, let's get you guys chasing them down. We killed most of them. I'm not gonna recover any ships. I want your supplies. 151, 162 fuel. Let's go, boys. We're getting in there. Oh, yeah, pirates. Yeah, kill, kill them, privateer. You got this, dude. I believe in you. Uh, let's see what we have out here. Whatever we have out here, I'll take it. There's our traitors. You left one standing around. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna try. It's fine. We're good. Okay. Uh, how many ships needs repair? We need 120 supplies, 29 supplies to repair, which is definitely more than we have. But at least we're slowly but surely getting some fuel, which makes me very happy. 19 days until the Tritech arrive over here. So 19 days until we can rebuild our fleet. Which, uh, let's be real, this is this is decent now. We have a decent decent fleet already, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Now we're just waiting for a day or two longer, so we can get some more supplies and stuff in here. One day we will laugh back in this. What a stupidity this was. Indeed, indeed, it was a big stupidity. 182 supplies now. Of course, at the end of the month, we're going to be paying for this, but that's that's really doesn't worry me. This is the ships that we still have in here, and these are the ships that I still want to take out. Let's take maybe a uh, Banshee. That is, Banshee's been quite quite wrecked right now, so do wanna do wanna repair poor Banshee and uh, Captain Monker, I believe, was. Uh, Flying Banshee, so let's get that. We need 70 supplies for repairs, which we do. Good, good. There you go. Tritech have arrived into the system. Looks like their forces are here. My fleet is full. Is that it? That you? Really, Tritech. That is all you brought. Oh, boy. Well, they have this very nice looking uh, freighter. And looks like they are using the junkyard dog ships once again. Uh, we're gonna maneuver into pitch battle for this one. Oh, yes. I got all my ships back. All the officers are commanding the way they should be. So, we're just looking good. Uh, we don't even need to deploy too many ships, I think. We're just gonna go... Something like this. Oh, look at how much fuel they brought. Oh, yes. Now it makes me sad that I'm actually almost full on fuel. In fact, no, I am completely full on fuel. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna tell my boys to just fully assault them. Just go. Go out of your way to kill everything. It makes me sad that my ship is so slow I can't catch up to. Not even these guys. Come on. It's like only Boaty is actually having some fun in his, uh, in his life out here. Oh, that's gonna be some strikes. Yeah, that thing's gonna go boom. That thing's gonna go boom. Kill them all. Um, yeah, apparently we have won. They're all trying to just freaking escape we're gonna need to kill them until there is none left i guess Boti is the best at that good job Boti. and they have all been destroyed nice uh i want to see if we can recover that big hauler that's a tanker exuberant it's got compromised storage increased maintenance it's not so fun and there's a freighter uh okay defective manufactured degraded drive field so it makes it slow which we're not gonna take then, but I guess you could take one of these dudes. Compromised armor really doesn't worry me on a tanker. It's got nice fuel capacity. And let's take this too. Yeah, I'm gonna recover these two. Pick to the wreckage. We get some extra fuel. 
You'll love to see it and they are done, right? They failed? Good stuff. All of them are dead and gone. Boys, this was one mess of an episode. <laughs> like absolute and utter mess of an episode. But we did it. We are now recovering. We got all the stuff that we we wanted and or needed. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Orbital Station is being built next. After that, we're going to get mining whenever we grow up big enough. So we can go for that. We also have some other things over here. We could do like ground defenses because we're not going to be around forever. Uh, Patrol HQ could be over here as well. So we actually have some defenses in this, uh, in this system. In fact, that might be smart. Yeah, let's do Patrol HQ. We're going to build that next after the orbital station. It's going to take a long time. But you know what? We're back. We're alive. Thank you for watching. I'll see you boys next time.